What's going on, y'all? Wolf back at you again with another reaction. Alright y'all, before we get into the video, if you're interested in early and full reactions or the ability to vote for future anime and TV shows that I get to watch or just want to support the channel even more, keep it growing, keep it moving, make sure you visit my Patreon, man. The link is down in the description below, you feel me? Alright, so, Ichigo has, I guess, gained a new power or regained his Soul Reaper powers? I don't really know what's going on. I feel like he gained a new power, and maybe is accessing a little bit of his Soul Reaper power again. Anyway, he has a new weapon. He accessed it through full bringing his fucking... His combat pass that apparently Ginjo retrieved from him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, from what I understand, um, it's... It's very similar to the... The hilt, or the guard, rather, of his... Of his fucking Tenzazangetsu, his Bankai sword, right? Um, so that's kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of Zangetsu in there, but not fully. It's, a, it's it, it looks like a, c kind of like a shirt, a big ass shuriken. You know, one of those fancy shurikens, you know what I'm saying? So, very cool. Uh, I can't wait to see him use it. Um, I mean, it, it, it is definitely very different <laughs> than his normal, you know, straight blind slash. He has to like, like, I don't know. It's, it's very, it's very different. It's very unique. So, hopefully, uh, well, so he knows how to use it because there's this fucking crazy pig running around uh, because of Riruka's, aka Hiyori. <clears throat> um, her, so her full bring is called Dollhouse, um, where apparently she, if she cares about something enough, she can have obj she can have <laughs> people, I guess, enter within the objects. Now I joked around when she first said that that she can you know, put people inside of, inside of stuffed animals like Khan, but she actually did that. There is a actual crazy guy inside of this pig doll, you know? So, I mean, her power is pretty fucked up. <laughs> That's pretty fucking scary. She can put you inside of, let's say she loves, like, her fucking chapstick. She can put you inside of chapstick, right? What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> Anyway, we also learned about a couple more full brings. Apparently, Chad's full bring is his skin, uh, mestizo blood. I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, I mean, much like his abuelo, you know, his his skin is his full bring. So that gives me hope into believing that one day they will give Chad a full fucking Chad hollow battle suit. You know, right now he has a right arm as a shield, a left fucking hand for offense, you know, eventually, according to what he said, his skin being his full bring, eventually he'll have a whole fucking outfit. I really hope so, because, you know, he, even though he is one of the weaker characters, his, his shit is cool to me. It's simple, it's a simple design, yes, simple concept, but it's very cool looking, you know what I'm saying? So I fuck with that. It's kind of, it's kind of like Gundam, if you think about it. If he gets a full bodysuit, full armor, it's like little Gundam, kind of, kind of, you feel me? Oh, that'd be fire. Um, anyway, also, time tells no lies. The, the old guy, the old bartender, his full bring, apparently he can set, from what I understand, time conditions on certain things. And if they, if they don't happen, whoever's involved in the time condition, like if you can't run a mile in fucking, you know, 15 minutes, you will, you will, the flames of time will take you, which basically means you'll die. So, these, some, some of these full rings sound pretty fucking crazy. You know, dollhouse, Time tells no lies, pretty crazy. I know Ginjo's is, is really simple, he just gets a fucking sword, so that's whatever. But these, these full brings, hmm, they're interesting, very interesting. But I like that, I like unique, interesting, you know, uh, creative concepts, so I definitely dig it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's see if Ichigo can break out of this dollhouse full bring. He has unlocked his new weapon, and uh, I mean, I mean, Ichigo's battle like he was pretty good, so he's, he, 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 it's not as good as Kenpachi's, I'd say. Kenpachi definitely learns very fast throughout a fight, but Ichigo uh, d does that as well, just not as fast as Kenpachi. So, without further ado, let's go and get into it. This is Bleach episodes 349 and 350. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and let's get let's get into it. Let's 
それが多くの戦いを経験してきたフルブリングを使えた時の一番の強いお前がどうなくしてもお前の大交渉はお前の力を覚えてた That's dope The combat pass remembers the inanimate object. That's tight. That's tight. I fuck with that. That tells us we should cherish the items that, you know, we care about. We sure really should. Treat them as living things. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Okay. Oh, shit, he threw it. Oh. Nope, it's not a projectile. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Honestly, I thought he, I thought throwing it would work too, because it just looks like a shuriken. But nope. That he needs to, he needs to use a melee. That's true. So maybe it's it's incomplete. Ooh. Maybe it's incomplete. Hmm. That would make sense because he just learned the full bring. Oh. Oh shit! No. He's gonna fire another one? Whoa! Oh! That's kind of cool. It's like a spinny wheel fucking circus thing. What? 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 Ew. Oh, is that like the condition to, to release them? Jesus Christ. She has to sneeze? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Okay. I mean, what's worse, sneezing or spitting? They're both equally just dis as disgusting. What? <gasps> hey, that was Rukia's voice. That's Rukia. Rukia, hello, hello. You know whose voice that was. Man, come on, you recognize that. Voice, yeah. So what is that? Like a fucking walkie-talkie the whole time? Damn. We will never find simp's just as hard as you can in anime. There are seriously the biggest fucking simp's in anime. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh shit, the actual guy is here. Um, well, he was able to body Ishida pretty easily, so probably be the same for Orihime. Why does he still kind of look like the pig? <laughs> Ugly ass motherfucker. Hmm. I don't know. It looks good to me. Whatever, I guess they they would know best. I just feel like after seeing Ichigo fight Aizen, even though I know he lost his powers, he's just like, you know. It's he's capable of a lot more things than normal, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the way I see it. Ooh, he also has a sword. Hmm. Okay, so he's similar to Ginjo and Ichigo. Where his full ring is just a weapon. Okay, cool, cool. Simple. Book of the End? Hmm. So maybe his full bring is more than just a sword, if it's called Book of the End, right? 
There's definitely some kind of unique thing going on there, according to that title of the full brain. I was going to say, wouldn't it be a trip if throughout the year and a half that Orihime was actually the strongest out of the crew for once? You know what I mean? Imagine she's been training hard as fuck, even more than Ishida and Chad, and she actually became stronger than them. Now, that's probably not going to happen, but I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. That would have been a great plot twist and an interesting thing of the story if that ever were to happen. Because, and honestly, her power is <laughs> seriously strong, if we think about it. The fucking removal of a phenomenon? That just sounds insane. You know, one day, maybe one day, we'll get strong Odahime. Savage Odahime. He's behind her. Mm, ah! No, no, no. That did not just happen. Hello? That That is like one of the most fatal wounds we've seen in this fucking show. Hello? That better not have just happened. What the hell? Okay. So, something about his full bring. That's something about his full bring. He did something to her. Mm. I wonder what is it? Book of the End. I can't really theorize off that title. You know what I'm saying? We just have to find out. Hey, come on, don't lie to us. Why is she lying? What's the point of lying? Hmm. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, okay. So she's not being controlled. I thought she was being controlled, but she just said that so she can't tell him. Trying to protect him or whatever. I get that, but come on now. Okay, well, Tsukishima's power is very mysterious. I can't wait to see what the fuck it is. I guess that's true. Let let Ichigo master this full bring first or whatever, and then we'll put him back into the, into the fighting game. But to be honest, Ichigo learns best in an actual fight for his life. So, eh. Meh. So they know about him. Okay. Spill the beans. Spill the tea, sister. Leader? Whoa. So that means he was probably the strongest. Right? Hmm. Oh! What? Wow! Now I don't want to run into any conclusions. You know what I'm saying? Perhaps Tsukishima had a reason, right? Right now they're making him look like a murderous asshole, which he is, you know, from everything we've seen so far. But if it's one thing I've learned in anime, it's never... Hey, it's dad. Finally gonna have that talk? I feel like Ichigo definitely needs to have a talk with dad about the whole goddamn Soul Reaper thing, right? It's gotta happen eventually. You know. Hey, what happened, my boy? What's up? Yeah. 
the man who helped defeat Aizen. Mm. Oh, damn. That's a... That's a fast conclusion there. I wouldn't go to that conclusion considering he helped us defeat Aizen, but... You know, I get why he's skeptical. I don't think Uruhara is evil, but I think he's shifty. You know what I'm saying? I think there's definitely a lot of things we don't know about him that he's keeping secret for a reason. But I don't think he's evil. But who knows, man. After the whole Gin thing, who, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> His next targets. <sighs> what a mysterious fellow. What a mysterious fellow. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who to trust. After the whole game thing, I just don't want to come to a conclusion to anyone anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though they show them being evil and doing whatever, being the good guy, doing good deeds, who really knows? Is Urahara a good guy? Is Kurosaki's, is, I, that's the first time I ever called him Kurosaki. Is Ichigo's dad a good guy? Is Tsukichima actually a bad guy? Is Ginjo actually a good guy? Is Ichigo actually a good guy? I don't know. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's honestly really hard to come up with conclusions and theories. Because I don't know anything about Tsukishima's power. He placed it inside of her. I mean, yeah. You know, what the fuck? Apparently she sees him as a friend sometimes. So he definitely... I don't know, maybe he hacked her brain or some shit? His full bower is called- his full bringer is called Book of the End. I don't really know how to theorize that fucking power, you know what I mean? I don't- I don't know. I don't- I can't really come to any conclusions. Time tells no lies, I can kind of guess. Dollhouse, I can kind of guess. But Book of the End, I don't- I don't know. I don't know. So, there's that. Um, I'm glad Ichigo is getting, I don't know if he actually did a Getsuga Tenshao, it was more of like a spirally wheel dreidel kind of thing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he said Getsuga Tenshao when he did it, so technically it is, so I guess he's gained the power back, now he has to, I guess, master this Fullbringer power. And then I guess, according to Gimjo, by, by him mastering this Fullbringer power, he will regain his sword powers, right? So that's cool. Um, and of course, and th there was the little backstory that Ginja mentioned about Tsukishima killing the former substitute Soul Reaper that they were fucking with, and everyone that was, I guess, gave it, gave him his power. You know, that's a lot of bodies. You know what I'm saying? According to that, Tsukishima seems like the bad guy. But again, because of the whole game thing, I don't want to fucking come to any conclusions whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Because um, maybe Tsukishima had a reason. Maybe there was a crazy ass reason that we are not aware of yet, you know? Maybe. Maybe he's a murderous asshole. That's very true. And that's most likely what's happening. But honestly, who knows? Only the Soul King knows. Da, da, da. Also, I was kind of hoping they would go a little bit more into the Soul King after the, the Iran Car Saga because Urahara and Aizen were talking about it when Aizen was getting sealed up, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it looks like that that is that, that is not the case. Hopefully, we'll learn about it later. You know. Anyway, cool, confused, but interested. I'm glad Ichigo has got a new power back. Let's master it. Let's get stronger, like Ichigo does, and then surpass everyone yet again, just like he did the Soul Reapers, because the Mugetsu form was arguably the strongest Soul Reaper-like power we've seen thus far. Was it not? I mean. I don't think we've seen all the powers, but from all the powers we have seen, Mugetsu was the strongest. So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys are interested in early and full reactions, or the ability to vote for future anime and TV shows that I get to watch, or just want to support the channel, keep it growing, keep it moving, 
go and visit my Patreon, man. The link is down in the description below. Other than that, y'all have a good one. I will see y'all next Bleach Reaction. We're almost done. We're almost done with this bitch. And of course, when I'm finished with Bleach, uh, I'm going to make a Bleach opening songs reaction video. And I will also react to Burn the Witch. And then I will make the Bleach review video where I will discuss all my favorite Bankais, my favorite resurrection forms, my favorite girls, my favorite characters, my favorite fights, favorite music, bunch of stuff. It'll be great. It'll be a top five list, pretty much. And I think you guys will enjoy that, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, y'all have a good one. I'm out to Like and subscribe. Peace out.